Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to another video. Look, it's on the wall now. Yay. It's on the wall. So there's a bunch of my other art and some stuff my friends made for me as well. Now then. Yeah, I know it's weird that I'm right there, but I kind of took my ponies and decorated my room with them. Yeah. And you may be wondering what this is on the floor. Um, a few weeks ago, back, you know, when we still had school, my fashion teacher found, was like cleaning out her classroom for the summer and found a bunch of fabric and she gave it to me. And you know, I have some more over here. These were just the ones that were cut out. Looks like somebody was making a quilt and I have the extra of those two, and then I have the blue versions of them, except for that one, and in place of that one, I have this weird fish one. But, uh, I wanna do something fun. Um, I wanna make a skirt with them. I just need to cut, all, cut out these so it matches the size, and I'm gonna cut out these so they match the size, and I'm gonna make a skirt for the 4th of July. And the 4th of July is in three days, so. <laughs> and I don't have a pattern or anything. So my guess is first I need to cut these out so they match those. And then, you know, put them in a random pattern, um, sew them all together, um, go get a pattern and then cut it out and make the skirt. Um, there are different ways I can sew these together. The way that I kind of want to do it, I can't because that requires a serger and I don't have a serger. So I'm just going to have to sew all these together and it's going to have to look like a quilt, like a classic quilt with like it looking like that and all. Um, and the way I, want, I would like to do it, it would like, look like this, but I can't do it that way. And you know what? That's okay. This is still gonna look cool otherwise. I'm not sure for the show line because it's like the red and it's blue and they both have white and so, you know, it, 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 it works. Do I have a shirt to go with these? No, no I do not. Um... I want to originally just make it red and then wear a blue shirt, but unfortunately I do not have enough fabric for that, so I'm gonna have to mix them. And that's okay. I'll probably just end up wearing like a black long sleeve shirt or something. I don't know. Cause I don't really have anything. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> this this is gonna be a big project to do in just three days. And while I'm doing this project, I'm also starting to learn how to drive. I have to do all these courses first. Um, tomorrow, there's like this like handbook thing that we have to read before we, I go and do all the courses. And then I'm doing like parent taught and whatever. So yeah, this will be fun. And I also really should get a job. That that's that's another important thing. But uh, we're, we're we're gonna worry about that later. <laughs> so yeah, let's. Uh, I guess I better get started. I just unfolded the first two red pieces, and this this gonna be a tad bit more difficult than I thought. This one's gonna be easier to cut out because it's just that one side that's been cut off. This one. It's, it's all, all the sides, except for that one. So, uh, yeah, this one should be <laughs> fun to cut out. I'm gonna have to unfold these, see what I'm dealing with here. I wonder why this one has a pin in it. It's, 
find out. Put the safety clip on something I can see. Now let's find out together. Has this just like never been used? Is that why? Why is, why is there cardboard here? I'll probably use that to paint on. Or use this as a palette or something. I don't know. It, it has been used. <coughs> This random corner is gone. Okay. Yeah, you like the fish? It, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of match the 4th of July theme that we're going for. I wonder how many of the other fabrics are just like kind of used. This one seems good. You know what? I'm gonna eat first. Honestly, I'm hungry. I woke up at 11 and I had breakfast, and now it's 2. So I'm gonna go eat lunch. Alright, I am all done with the red. Time to start with the blue. Alright, I'm done cutting all of them. Um, I kept this one. I didn't cut this one because I want to see if I can either turn it into a headband or. When they make the skirt, there's always this, the, like, this section where you, like, make a rubber band. So I'm going to see if I can use it for that, maybe? I highly doubt it, but we'll see. We'll find out. Alright, I've done a little bit of math, and I don't have enough fabric. Um, so I'm going to have to go to the store, get some more fabric. Which I'm just gonna buy just a few fat quarters of red and blue stuff and then chop them up, um, get a pattern, and then see what I can get out of that. And hopefully, it turns out well. So, yeah. Alright, I've been filming this video for so long that um, my video style has changed. Hi, here's my face. Um,. So yeah, I haven't worked on this project in a while, but I got some more fabric here for it. Um, I have no idea when I got them. I might have said in the last clip, I really have no idea, but um, I'm about to cut them. I'm not sure because um, like these two blues are like two different colors like two different shades i mean the reds somewhat match but it's like really the blues that there's the biggest difference which is fine i like it brings a little like texture and whatnot but i'm not sure what to do is like put them in the blue pile and have all the blues there or like have it separate as like a light blue and a dark blue it's all gonna get mixed up in the end anyways and i probably actually don't need this much fabric but you know what oh well like I'm gonna cut all of it, but I still have no idea how I'm gonna put it all together. Um, that's the major problem. I am between two different things. One thing, I can just, you know, kinda lay them, kinda get a pattern, like lay them out, sew them together, and like cut the pattern, and they'll just be kinda like mismatched that way and not like solid squares half the time, like on the seams and stuff. Um, or I did comment on this one YouTuber's video where I saw she did a skirt that's kind of the style I'm going for, um, where it's just like all blocks, but I don't think I'm going to be able to achieve that. So, yeah, I might just have to go with the first idea, which I'm fine with, um, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. There was this other girl who made like a hobbit robe and she like made all like these big like quilting squares and stuff and just kind of put them all together. So I, d I don't know how she did that. Um, but yeah, this is kind of very complicated. I don't know why I did this to myself. But um, yeah, I could end up if I get enough fabric, just making like, 
you know, just a dress or something. I don't know. I kind of want to make a skirt, though. But I could make a dress and just have the skirt like this and do, like, the top. Like, the, um, do the top different. But, um, yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, yeah. Alright, so, <clears throat> I just finished cutting. So, I'm saying two pieces right here. There's the red and the blue. Um, yeah, this time I did save the scraps, um, so I can use that as the, um, waistband. <clears throat> Still don't know what to do with these two, um, this one's a bunch of snowflakes, this one's a bunch of fish, um, yeah, I'll probably end up not using them for this, because it just doesn't fit, you know? I mean, the fish one does. It's... I mean, it does, it doesn't. It does and doesn't. It, you know? Nah, it doesn't really fit. Um... Yeah. I have to get up early in the morning, so... Good night.